We welcome you to Lewis Center for tonight's halftime report. Coldwater trying to get back to state one step away as they take on Coshocton. Cavs trying to break through to Columbus once again. First quarter, that Coldwater defense coming up big, forcing the fumble here. They would have it just shy of midfield, but Coshocton with an acrobatic answer. Look at this takeaway. Nice interception. They have it in Cavalier territory, but that cold water defense comes up big again. The stuff by Brad Gear leads to a turnover on downs. Dylan Toby goes to work. What a game for him. Keeper here, first down. He ran 16 times for 115 yards. Then Toby, plenty of time, finds a leaping Lewis Berry. First down. That could be Leifeld Welding top five play. Next Friday, Toby goes to his favorite target, Neil Mullenkamp. 19-yard touchdown. Cavaliers lead 7-0. Second quarter, the Cavalier offense added again. Toby to Mullenkamp on the sideline. It's a first down, five catches, 57 yards for Mullenkamp. Toby then with more time. That offensive line doing a stellar job. Hits Nate Rindler over the middle. First down yardage. Toby then a quick slant to Zach Klosterman. More first downs for Coldwater as they are driving midway through that second quarter. Toby looks left, throws back to his right. Gear has it and does some work down the sideline all the way to the three. Two plays later, Gear is rewarded as he puts it into high gear for the touchdown. Cavs go up 14-0. They win it 33-14. to They're back to the state championship against Canton Central Catholic, the team they beat last year and four touchdowns for Toby on the day. That's been your halftime show. Third quarter action between Minster and Macomb. Coming up next, stay with us.